Hello, hello, everyone. Okay, we are going to finish up. This is what the cover is going to look like. You can see I did put uh, the little gems on here, the glitter and the flat back pearls. I did go ahead and paint, but I have to add the glitter and then this will glow, go here. We have to do our trims. And um, I know I don't have any of this in white, but I've got it in pink, which is beautiful. So let's work on getting our trim on here. I went ahead and did the tags just because um, that would have been another hour. And, you know, time. This uh, journal sold. And I have to get it in the mail. So the reference is going to be gone. And we just need to get this going. So I thought we'll go through it. Because I know that there are many of you that are following along. And that just makes me just so happy. I love that. So I am using my Fabrifix. And we are going to get our lace down. It's late here. I'm trying to think. What time is it? It is 5 o'clock. Yes, it is. So we are back on mountain time. We do not observe daylight savings time. So in the summer, we are Pacific time. We don't fall back, but because, because others do... Um, we're Pacific time in the summer and mountain time in the fall and winter. So we have that and hopefully I'm on camera. We are going to put it down here at the bottom. And I've got my squeaky chair. So many of you said, don't ever get rid of your squeaky chair. I'm like, why not? But I guess you don't find it annoying. One thing I find annoying is every time I put something down on this glass, it's annoying because it makes a sound. And so I am going to take care of that. For any of you that that also annoys. So we've got pink. Oh, just so pretty. For those of you that love pink. We will get this on. Turn the page. Let me start up here just in case. You're having trouble when I go down. Um, maybe I'm below the camera line. You'll know what I'm doing if I do it here first. So there'll be no surprises. Pretty, pretty trims from Hobby Lobby. Both of these trims are Hobby Lobby. Not this year. Um, I don't think I got them this year. So if you go check and you can't find the pink, I've had the pink for a while. And hopefully they still carry it. But just in case beware. I usually use the uh, cream color and I see it in white. Um, I don't, you know, I don't really even recall seeing it in pink, but I must have because I got it. So I had a busy day today just trying to get these movies made so that those of you that are following along, you'll know what's happening. And that should be good. So the cover, except for our wooden piece that needs glitter, that is what the cover is going to look like. The cover is, um, for all intents and purposes, it is done. So when you open the page, if you remember, we did all this together except for the trims. 
I went ahead and I took uh, two pieces of lace and I just used my gold thread and went ahead and just stitched that down. And that fits so cute in this pocket. And then this tag here, I took another piece of trim. I took a black safety pin. I put three seed beads on it and I, I hung a um, snowflake charm off the end. So you've not missed anything there. Here, do we have any lace? I have to check. Yes, we have lace at the top and the bottom. And on this piece, we have one piece of silver lace. So we need to do that. So I do happen to have a piece of silver lace. And I know what I did was I just kind of cut the pattern out. It kind of makes a floral pattern. And I came in and just kind of cut it out and followed the pattern of the lace. And then we're going to put it right there like that. So I think we'll cut this. Pretty, pretty silver lace. I've not used this all year. So we are going to attach that. And then did I put a gem on that? I didn't, but you know what? I think I will. I think I will put... Where are those cute, cute pink gems? What do you think? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or we could do, I think we'll do a pink gem. So we're going to do that. So I am just going to put glue on the petals of these flowers, this one flower. Make sure that is not going to do anything with our Our spine so that goes there and then let's see. clean that off and put the tiniest bead right there and follow it with a little gem of a pink jewel and I will do that in the original as well. Because I just think, yeah, look at how cute that is. So then we need, uh, it looks like I used the larger of these, this. So we've got that there. We are going to one at the top, one at the bottom. Should measure the same. So let's start at the top. And it is going to go like that with the trim. So pretty. I was so happy when I saw this sole because this journal is just really really pretty and like most journals we buy they're prettier in person than they are when you see them either on a video or the photos they're usually always prettier when they show up at your door and hopefully the recipient of this journal will feel the same way. Prettier, prettier in person. All right, then we need our trim. And hopefully I will have enough to do what I need to do in this book. But if not, I've got other trim I've got this um, really pretty trim right here. Isn't that pretty? So if we have to go to that, we can. 
but I kind of like to stay pretty consistent. So I'm hoping that we will have enough for what we need that we won't have to go outside the box here. And I'm hoping to get through this so that you won't have to sit through an hour-long video. And when am I going to give this away? Well, you know what? It's got to be this month, doesn't it? It would be nice for somebody to have this in time for the holidays. But, like I had mentioned, I am going to go off of my index card um, comments. And I am doing that for a very good reason, for what I think is a good reason. I want um, people that follow me pretty much uh, and comment I don't want, I, I just, I don't want something like this to go to somebody that perhaps never watches, never comments, and is here just strictly for the giveaway. So we've got a large tag up here. I just stuck my finger in the glue. This is where, when we're working... I don't want to hurry, hurry, so things don't go the way they should. So I went ahead and did this offline. It is a large 8-inch tag. Now that I've taken it out, it doesn't want to go back in. It's got a Christmas tree charm attached to a medium-sized um, safety pin with three seed beads. And then I went ahead and I finished this tag with another safety pin, uh, two laces, and it says Merry Christmas with some bulb pin or some seed beads. And then I put the jingle bell and I tucked two um, tags inside this envelope. This we all did together. And this gets silver trim. This gets no lace. So let's put our silver trim on here and that trim is right here so it kind of acts as a stopper for our large tag so let's see here Make sure we fit, and then our tag will come down like that, which works really nice. So we will get this going, and I see right now where I messed up there. I forgot charms, so I'm going to have to go back. We're going to have to fix that. So we get this on, make sure it's not... When you're adding your lace, make sure that you're not going over into your spine. So we have this really pretty lace here, and then it will act as a stop for our large tag. And then we're on this page here, and we have more silver trim down at the bottom here. I think basically I did that because this page is pretty plain, but I see here where I have this eyelet. Something needs to go there. So we need to see what that something is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we want to make sure 
Then we've got glue here, here, because this is not a pocket. Don't need it to be a pocket. Make sure that we're not too close to the spine. And then this page is done, and you will see I added the candy cane, the jingle bell, and some beads. I want to make sure that nothing will stick to that. So let's, just in case, let's just put this there like that. There's our back. Then we've got this page here. Let me look at the original. Okay, what I did is I went ahead and I put two different laces on here and sewed three seed beads. I added glitter to her, and this obviously needs a snowman and some beads. So I will do that, and then this page is good. I did add some um, glitter to that. And I added glitter to this snowman. I added beadwork and a, um, a mitten down here. There's no lace on that. This one, I added some of the fabric that I used on the hinges with mittens and beadwork. And this page is good. Then if we go here... I added lace to this. I clip scissors out of there. I added um, a pearl and glitter to this. And then we get to this page. And this page has, um, take these out. This page has, let me kind of prop this up. Sorry, guys. Kind of crazy. Um, this has silver lace, so let's do that. And it acts as a stop, so we want to cut this like that and put it on the other side of this one. So hopefully, yeah, and then this will act as a stop. So let's do this, and we may have enough time to get that other on or to put uh, the glitter. Maybe we'll just put the glitter on the one piece. And I think, yep, that brings us back to the beginning. So, guys, except for the one charm, she is done. Yeah, let's wait for that to dry. I don't want to glue any of that together. So let me grab this here, put it here, and then let us go ahead and glitter our piece of wood. And the way I am going to do that is I am going to use some 
Jewel Drops, Nouveau Jewel Drops. And what I'm going to do is just go and cover this up. Just like that. Kind of adds dimension too, and that's why I like it. And we're basically just going over all the letters. And it gets thicker the further down it goes. The letters get thicker and the letters get bigger. And we're going to do the whole thing. Make sure that we have full coverage. You can kind of look at it and can see it. And we've got Christmas. The base. Okay. And then get the base itself. Because we want glitter on there too. And then if you've clogged anything up, I just kind of go in with a pin. And then you can come in later if you see that's happened. So I think we're pretty well covered. So then what we're going to do is sprinkle our glitter on. And then I have a tendency, I mean, I put it on thick. And then kind of push it. Push it down. Push it down like that. Make sure you got it on there. And then, of course, we're going to pick it up. Kind of tap it off. Look at how beautiful that is. Can you see that shimmer? Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? And if you wanted to, just give it another tap. Make sure it's on there. And make sure you don't stick your fingers in it like I did. And then if you have to, you can kind of go in and tap out whatever you've clogged up. And it will, um, it will shed a little bit of glitter and that's okay. So now, pour it back and of course make a mess. And now I'm thinking that was that charm, I think, was a snowman. I think that's what I said. So I've got my Christmas charms here, and I think we have enough time to put one together. There's a cute snowman. Just like that. It's a cute snowman. And then this will be done, except for putting that on, we will be done. So we are going to need one of these guys. And let me see if I've used all the ones with the eyes. I think somebody said in the comments, it's called an eye. And I think this is one of them. Let's see, and it is. So he's got an eye there. So I need a large jump ring, maybe a couple smaller jump rings. 
And I need maybe two of these, depending upon how many beads we're going to use. So I've got some red seed beads here. I know it's going to be difficult for you to see what it is I'm doing. Get out. Okay. Well, there we go. Beads everywhere. Well, let's use one of these red ones here. And do I have a green? I'm kind of losing track. That's cute. Here is a crystal. Here's a pearl. Is there a green? I really think I'd like another crystal or glass. It could be glass. Let's try our hand at this and see what we've got. All right. Let's see what we've got here. I'm going to be picking up beads for a long time. And that's okay. All right, we need, here's two more. We need some tools. This and I think this one. All right, so let's put on a red seed bead. And I know you guys, it's gonna be hard for you to see this and I apologize. I'm going to do the best I can. There's a seed bead and then maybe a green. You know, red and green, traditional Christmas colors. So there's a green. Let's pick up another red. And how about a pearl and another red? I think that might look pretty. Let's see. That's pretty, right? So now I'm going to wrap it around, make my loop. So I'm going to hold it with this. And then I just bend this, wrap this around as best I can. And cut the tail off. Trying to hold on to where that goes so it doesn't go flying and I can get it in the garbage. And then trying to make sure that there's no sharp edge. I can't feel one. And so then we have something like this. And so let's maybe put it to find the opening and we're going to hold this and open this by pulling forward and let's attach that onto maybe this gold looks like something you'd put on the Christmas tree at the top. I'll try to make sure. So we've got something that looks like that. And now we're going to basically do the same thing. Let's use this crystal. Use the crystal if I can find the hole. Should be, yeah, there we go. Okay, I need a seed bead first because that is too big. So seed bead, then this piece of crystal, and then another seed bead.
And how about this red one? And I think I'd rather go this red one. Yes. This crystal and a seed bead. So it looks like that. And then we're going to do the same thing. Gonna hold it and wrap it. Wrap it around. And cut the end off. You can see that end. We don't want that. So I get as close to it as I can. And then I like to kind of pinch that down. So it doesn't create any issues. And then we're going to take another jump ring. Find the end. And I think we will put our snowman on there. We will put that on. And we will attach it to this. So we've got something that looks like that. And then I think we will put yep, two seed beads. And we will use that one. So let's put a seed bead on the end of here, on the end of this. Here, it's got kind of gold glitter, so it's cool looking. Here, and then we'll close this up. Basically, doing the exact same thing. Going around this. Cutting this off. Making sure we don't have a pokey thing. And then we'll take the large jump ring. To open it up we will attach that and this and then we will attach it let's find that page right here and I apologize if I'm off camera Let's see if I can get this on there bring it through I just might have to use a bulb pin. I can't get this through there. And of course it's not being cooperative. Okay. 
Come on, there we go. Don't lose it, Charlotte. Don't lose it. No, nope, you didn't have it. You thought you had it, but you didn't have it. So, I'm going to try one more time. And if I can't get it, I'm going to try it. Then we might go to a bold pin. It's got lace on the back, and that is part of the issue. Okay, I got it. Let's see. If I can now put the charms on this way, maybe easier. Like I mentioned, there's not a lot to work with. So that is on. Don't lose it now. Let's get this one on. Yay, don't lose it, girl. Okay, close her up. Tight. I have been known to think I've had them closed and then have a charm fall off, which is not a big deal because you can reattach it. But sometimes you just have to outwit it. Many times I've wanted to get out the soldering gun. I can't even tell you. Okay, we did it. This is what we've got, guys. Look at how cute this is. Isn't that cute? So cute. All right, so let's just peek at this real quick. See what we've got. We will attach, of course, the wooden piece. And here we are. I hope that everybody that's been following along is as happy with yours as I am with mine. I think it might be a good idea to just put a little bit of glue right here and keep this down. We don't need that coming up. And then I will tell you what will come next. Well, something fell. I don't know if it was something on my desk or something fell off. I'll be able to tell if something fell off. So far, everything is where it should be. Okay. There we go, guys. We're done. Except for this and one more thing to share with you. So you know you've got these pockets. Okay. Oh, that's what fell was the top to this. Somewhere on the floor. It is dark in here now. So what I do is I take a piece of coffee dyed, uh, tea dyed, or just plain paper and kind of fold it in, in uh, thirds. And this measures because I do cut it down. So let me grab... I cut both sides, width and length. This measures then. I've cut this down, I think normally it's 11. I've cut it to 10. And I've made it seven and a half inches high. Just because it's easier to get into your um, pockets. And then what I like to do, though, I don't like to leave it like this. I want to embellish it a little bit. We want to do something to make these pages cuter, 
more festive. So we're going to take our scraps, because you are going to have scraps left over, and we are just going to put our scraps on. And I think I might do that side. So we're going to just do a little bit of collaging using our scraps. And then it just, it kind of decorates your papers. Now, if you're really into napkin work, this would be a really, really cute time to do some collaging or some napkin work. of your paper. Just to make it a little festive, you can do some stamping, you can do some cutouts. You don't have to do this at all. I just happen to like it. And I think I'm gonna put that on there and um, we will put this inside of one of the pockets. And before I send this out to whomever's the winner, I will do a couple of these. I, I may not, I probably won't do them all, but I will do a couple of them. Because when you do an accordion journal, like this one, you don't have a whole lot of journaling space. You can create journal space in so many different ways. But we have got a pocket right here. Let's just see if we can lift this up and open this up. And I like to put a ruler down there just to kind of move things. And then we will take this page and put her, maybe we will take this page and put her like this. So you've got journal spot. And I'm pretty sure I could get this to go in further than that just by yeah just by opening up some room and there you go guys so I hope that you have really really enjoyed this journey with me and that you have had fun and that um, you did follow along and maybe gain some inspiration if you didn't follow along and uh, let's see if don't think this is dry yet, but this is what this is going to look like. So there we go. This is my giveaway for this holiday season. And I want to thank each and every one of you for hanging out with me. And um, I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Be good. Hugs to all. Bye now.